Shit Game Challenge, Vector Ball on the Commodore 64, take two. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hello once again, welcome to another shit game challenge. This is Vector Ball on the Commodore 64. This was a game request by John Gage, so we should get started. Um, player 1 and player 2 have the option to be either a human or a robot, I think. This game might allow up to two players, although God knows what kind of friend you want to play this with. So we'll go for player 2 for the robot for player 2. So we stop. So we have this lovely screen. And I should have given you a warning earlier, but if you have epilepsy, then look away now. I assume it's generating the level because you know the music still plays, and also why would it be loading a second time? Well, this is exciting. Come on. So, we start off and it's basically like isometric single player football. Um, so they've tried to do something really ambitious with this game because, I mean, they've done sort of like a grid map and sort of 3D characters on an isometric grid, which is quite ambitious, but unfortunately it does organise in very quickly. And also it's buggering hard to control because, you know, your character, he doesn't dart across the screen, but he fails to catch the ball, like, and... It, what's even worse is you can sometimes go off the screen like there and so and it's very and also i just discovered you can't move when you've got the ball you have to kick the damn thing you can't like dribble with it and it's next to impossible to and also look me the second player is tanning me ass to me this is Really fucking awkward. Um, he doesn't really seem to want to kick it, does he? He just seems to be stuck there. You can't control him. You can't, he's not moving. Come on, move, damn you! Come on, For fuck's sake! Come on, come on! I mean, look, you can even skull in your own fucking door, skull in your own goal, so. Yeah. And also, look, it's just next to impossible to control because, did you know it's right there? When I hit the fire button, he just flew back, he didn't actually kick the ball. Or did the ball kicked him. This is really poor. This is shit. This is shit. It's an interesting perspective, but it's virtually unplayable. I just wonder what, how much this cost back in the day. You can't really control the character, can you? So you can't get the ball and especially when the other player comes along because I mean he just pinches it. Oh. Okay, so time out and I've had my ass completely handed to me and now we get another red flexi screen.
Yeah, um, you can tell the isometric idea with the 3D graphics didn't work out very well for them because it's taking them, it's taking forever for the levels to load. Let's see if I can just be a goalie. And it appears the AI is stuck behind the fucking girl. So this is great. Look. <laughs> now it's too easy because we're really stuck. How am I? So, so you just dart. So you just dart. It's unplayable. for this at all. See, he can't say pot the motherfucker. Stupid thing. Come on. See, I don't know what the hell's going on because it keeps flashing between the opponent's goal and my goal and it, for some reason the camera doesn't seem to focus on my character, instead it seems to focus on the AI. More to the point where the ball is then I can't bother to steer. Come on. This is garbage. This is complete shit. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know, I'm just gonna stay and go and just. See, it's inconsistent because he attaches to the ball for only like five seconds or something. And it's. You can't. I wasn't trying to hand it over to him. Fuck. How the hell are you supposed to play this? It's not even visually appealing, I mean it's visually ambitious but it's just, it gives you a headache because you make out to fucking darts around all over the place and, okay, right I've had enough, right that's it for the moment, so long for now.